my name is Jasper Ravenstein. I'm uh, not Canadian, I'm Dutch. I'm the, uh, the EMEA sales director for, uh, for the uh, Canadian manufacturer Adamson Systems Engineering. Um, you said something already interesting, you called it immersive, which we could call it immersive. I would like to use the word spatial, because of immersive, it's, the system can offer more things than just to immerse ourselves with audio. So I think spatial is maybe a better, uh, a better wording for it. Because we all know if you're in an audience area and you're around the hotspot area in the middle, that you have a nice setup of the left-right system. But as soon as you're out of the middle and you're more to the right or more to the left, you basically listen to one, mostly one loudspeaker or one uh, amplified source. So with object-based mixing, Basically what you see on stage for all the, let's call them artists instead of, of objects, what you see is what you also hear. Because with object-based mixing, based on delay and gain, what we gain what we use with AFM, is that we can perfectly allocate the source on stage. And that's basically the big thing about spatial audio. And then I leave away what we can do with effects with 2D or 3D let's call it surround. If you divide the, f the functionality of spatial mixing, object-based mixing, it can be different things. So what I, what I said already, you can perfectly, for, the, for a bigger part of the audience, you can perfectly allocate the sources on stage. If you take loudspeakers as a surround system, you can use that to enhance that effect from stage with reverberation through the hall. Um, these loudspeakers need to be as wide as possible because basically every of these loudspeakers on itself should cover the whole hall, right? Or the whole audience area. When you think about that, you can make the next step. That 2D or 3D surround um, can also adapt effects, art artistical effects. Think about uh, flying helicopters or what we show here with, with uh, special jungle effects through the audience. Uh, that is the, the, the second step. Now, when you think in, in small installations, for example, in Messia or anything that doesn't directly have to do with the entertainment industry, we can enhance any, any program material like video screening or, or presentations or, you know, you can go artistically wild when you think about these setups. AFM is a fairly new system uh, to us. Uh, as, as an Adamson branded system, it's only around for a little bit more than a year. The best command we probably got is, is two-sided. First thing is, as we combine gain and delay as a technical thing we can adapt to the system, you basically, only when you look at the loudspeaker, you can define the position of the loudspeaker. If you close your eyes and you place enough loudspeakers in that surround system or in that frontal system, you don't experience actually several um, point boxes or line array systems. It becomes one big spatial system. The second thing that sets us apart, if you can use that term, is the reverberation that we use is of very, very high quality. And that's what we get back from the people that listen to the systems. It's also fair to say that in the development of the systems, it's, it's not completely new, right? Or, or good competitors like DMB and L Acoustics are working on it, or even Meyer Sound, are working on these kind of systems for a longer time. But if you develop in a later stage, you can learn from the so-called things that you can do a little bit better and enhance your system in that. And that's what we're facing at the moment, yes. Uh, we have a fantastic 3D uh, installation in uh, with our distributor in Dubai where we can invite all the people to listen to that system as it is in their demo room. There are several installations in Norway. There is uh, a special installation in the Netherlands that is also, it's not only surround and only frontal but that's also acoustic enhancement systems. Um, there are now demo systems available in, in uh, Poland, in Hungary, uh, in Romania, soon in Greece, all over the place. It's, I'm very enthusiastic about it because, again, I think it's a it's a big leap forward um, compared to left left right mixing. Um, and and maybe I, I didn't explain that one at the beginning. The big step forward is not only for the for the guy that is mixing, 
the big step forward is for the audience and the listeners, and that's, that's why it's so important. I'm always optimistic. Uh, we have a superior product at the moment, so we are very enthusiastic about it, yes. And we look forward to the, to the future.